What's up everybody? Welcome to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out the new MetaHuman demo. It's kind of an animation tech demo where they're showing off the facial capture technology kind of for real-time events in the Unreal Engine. So if you're new to my channel, I do animation for a living. I've worked on some really cool games over the years and so hopefully I can give you some cool insights to this animation tech demo because I am currently doing animation with MetaHuman in Unreal doing facial animation like this um, and I'm cleaning it up and, and going through this process currently at my job. So hopefully I can give some cool insights to this, you know, little demo and we can show you something that you haven't seen in another channel. So let's dive in. Let's take a look, shall we? Our guiding vision for MetaHuman has been the democratization of complex character technologies, allowing you to work faster wow. and see the results immediately. A character is only truly believable if its motion fidelity matches its visual fidelity, but animating at this level is a hard task for even the most skilled studios. Some of our best work leveraged 4D capture, but this took specialized hardware. Yeah, this was a great demo. Lots of processing time. While MetaHuman Creator gave you the ability to generate high quality characters, animating them still wasn't as easy. This is why I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator. MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone, the as iPhone? Well as stereo professional systems. What? And today, we're going to demonstrate how it works. No way. For this, we're going to need nice. help, our technician, John Cook. I've seen. And just the phone. I've seen a demo like this before. <laughs> uh, we used now a cell phone along. Sure. You know, in, during a production I worked on, we used a cell phone to to capture the face and to try out this technology when they very first started doing it over at Epic. This is kind of cool to see what they're, but what they can do with it, the actual company. Okay. Okay, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes all I need is a look. Thanks, Mel. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance. Look at that. He's running it all right now, real time and unreal. Where everything will be processed locally. This is wild. We have updated our live link based mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. Wow. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. Hmm. John wow. is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to pick up the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less. So now they're exporting it out. Look at this. It's capturing it. Wow. Look at this. So, so uh, well, that is processing. Let me show you. Hold on. Now, while they're, they're showing this, let me just talk about this for a second, because what's interesting here is that there is a... Um, a system that's being used. So if you see here, it's a tracking system. Now this is used a lot of times or a long time ago, this kind of tracking system was used um, in like high-end movies for tracking objects in a scene so that you could do like um, compositing and so that you could remove green screen and all those different things. And what they're doing is they're using that technology to capture the face and they're using it to capture the mouth. You can see the little green dots um, around her face and what those are is those are like um, uh, a point in space where a light and dark pixel kind of meet and they're they're trying to track those around it's hard to explain but that's what's happening right here so it's looking at the redness of the lips next to the the paint the peach of her skin or the black of the iris of her eye next to the white of her eye that type of thing or the darkness of her eyebrow next to the lightness of her skin, and it's capturing all those things. Great stuff, pretty cool. So, Mel, well, that is processing. Let me show you something else. Yeah. Oh, is that me? Yeah, this is what we refer to as your metahuman DNA. Cool, and this is generated by the capture we made earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow, so it generated so a mesh already. So video and depth data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow. Do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It, calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. This is amazing. Yeah. 
So let's check back on the, on the processing, which today is on the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom Epic Facial Solver and Landmark Detector. We can interactively look at the innovation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. It's really amazing how accurate it is. Looks like it just... And look, the mesh, even like the 3D mesh that it's making, even looks really good. It looks like it's all cleaned up, like the topology looks all perfect. Like, wow. Wow. After this, is going to do one more pass to make the curves more stable. Dude, this, this tech has come a long way, man. And then John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. So, thus, MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Now, okay, before they start this demo, I want to explain something very important, and that is this MetaHuman technology and this facial capture only works with MetaHumans, and it only works with it this good. It only works, so you have to set up your own pipeline, and you have to build your own MetaHuman first in order for this to, like, kind of work really well and to use it properly, is to use their system, the MetaHuman system and all that stuff. If you just have, like, a regular character that's kind of rigged in, like, the old school way, this process right here is a lot harder to do, and that's because they're using their own their own um, character rigs, like they're using the metahumans for the facial capture. So when you're using something else, it has to use a whole different algorithm to capture the bones and move the face and all that stuff. So if you're a developer and you're looking at this technology, what you want to do is you want to make your character in metahuman and that way that this technology will, will transfer over and work properly really easily. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. Um, oh, going forward. So for instance, oh. right here, this metahuman, this metahuman is one that they made already probably of, of this girl, or it got created based off of the mesh and, and put hair on it and whatnot. But this is probably a metahuman that they spent a lot of time making in the background for this demo, right? So they made this girl look as close as possible as the actress that we saw. And then they're putting the facial data on him. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And but see, her, her face looks exactly the same, so I don't think this is created in MetaHuman. I think this is a, like, um, it is, but I don't know how to explain it, but it's tweaked a little bit to look like this girl. Because it's hard in MetaHuman to get the character to look exactly the way you want. You need to make other additional tweaks afterwards. Really cool. Let's watch that one more time. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes all I need is a look. Thank you. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back. So this is blowing my mind. <laughs> and all of this is solved directly onto animator friendly controls. Look at this. In this what? case, we are yeah. using a full so, 4D rig. What this is how it is um, right now. Is What's really cool is that they've already have their own facial rig for this, as you can see on the screen. And so what happens is it also gets baked out and the animation gets put onto these controllers that you can then bring into Maya and, and change later, or you can animate them in Unreal. So this this is really, really powerful stuff. For Hellblade 2, but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Wow. Let's have a look at that. Look at this rig. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes all I need is a look. The same thing works even on stylized characters. See? Wow. Wow. Let me know what you guys think down below, what you think of this kind of demo. This this kind of stuff really blows my mind, even though I'm using it daily. Um, you know, the technology has come a long way, and the stuff that I'm doing is, is it's still hard work. You still have to do a lot of animation work later and tweak it and do these different things and plug it into Unreal and, and import it. And, you know, some of these things will replace a lot of animators' work. Like, I'm seeing it myself. A lot of times, I'm just doing the monkey work. I'm just plugging in these animations. I'm just putting them in certain places. I'm just exporting them out. I'm just testing them, all these different things. I'm not sitting there anymore and animating all day. I'm usually spending my time altering existing animations that a computer has made for me.
which is really crazy because it never used to be that way. But now things are changing and, and my job is changing and the way we do things is all changing. So let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. And if you're new to my channel, I do some really cool behind the scenes stuff on gaming. Check it all out if you're new. And also I play games with my viewers and subscribers on a separate channel. So I will leave that here so you can check it out. I'd love to see you join the squad and, and join us in some Apex Legends games. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.